Hey, Scott here from whattype.com, and today I'm going to answer a question from Reddit, and that is about the difference between sensor thinker judgers and intuitive thinker judgers. So, to start with, you know, the obvious difference from just looking at the letters is STJs are sensors and NTJs are intuitives. Digging down a step deeper, STJs use introverted sensing and NTJs use introverted intuition. So there are some similarities between these two, two types and there are some distinct differences. So to start with the similarities, all thinker judgers are going to be um, oriented to external outcomes, uh, just generally speaking. So uh, thinker judgers tend to do well in business. Uh, so it's basically an orientation towards a externally verifiable outcome. Uh, in, in they're often very good at reverse engineering the steps it takes to achieve this outcome. So, uh, you know, highly effective thinker judges are going to be very effective in the business world. So, when we're getting into the the differences, so introverted sensing. Uh, that just has a um, an influence on a person's personality where they will just tend to be more by the book. They will tend to be more traditional. And that's because the way introverted sensing works is that it catalogs sensory information and it orients to what is reliable. So kind of the frame is, you know, chaos into order. So we've got all of this, you know, chaotic, um, you know, all these chaotic things happening in the world, and then we've got things that, you know, repeat, things that are, that are shown to be more trustable, and that's how they primarily orient to the world. So, in the case of NTJs, they're using introverted intuition. So, introverted intuition works sort of like an, an unconscious Rubik's cubing process. So an NTJ will just be doing this with their unconscious mind, with pieces of data that they've taken in and things that they have mentally filed away. Their intuition will work very quickly, just juxtaposing different perspectives and different pieces of data in, in different ways to produce insight. So generally speaking, NTJs are going to be more innovative. STJs are going to be more by the book. So STJs are going to want to know what has worked in the past. They're going to be far more likely to start by reading the instruction manual or whatever the you know classic literature uh, is that's been written on whatever it is they're studying, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, now it's not that NTJs won't do that. It, in particular, INTJs will tend to be very well studied for anything that they put their mind to, but they're going to have a bit of a different process. You know, NTJs are going to want to wrestle with things themselves so that they have more data for their intuition to use. So, you know, if they're just reading sequentially instructions, it's not going to give them the kind of insight that they want. You know, the kind of insight that they want can only be earned by kind of wrestling with something and, and pushing something over, over here and seeing what comes out over here and then just kind of getting data so that their brain can just do its thing. And then it starts to you know, have realizations like, okay, I think this works like this, so I'll bet if I did this, this would happen. You know, that's kind of how their brain works. Whereas, you know, with STJs, it's, you know, well, th there's no, you know, reason based on the past to believe that this is going to happen in the future. Therefore, the most prudent thing to do is, you know, this thing, because, you know, that's, um, you know, this thing has been proven to work forever. So, um, either of these approaches can work in different contexts. And generally speaking, it's a good idea to have a balance. So STJs could be stuck in the past, potentially. You know, NTJs could be a little bit too far into outer space or be too sloppy or miss details. So uh, generally speaking, it's good to have a balance here. Uh, a classic example to illustrate the difference would be John Scully and Steve Jobs at Apple. So Jobs hired Scully to be CEO somewhere around like 1984, I think. Um, 
and uh, Scully was a very, you know, traditional executive. He was, in, you know, he informed his decisions based on strict uh, market research, whereas Jobs, you know, said things famously like, the customer doesn't know what they want until you show it to them. You know, that's kind of how his mind was working. So, you know, NTJs are going to be more future oriented. So they're going to use their intuition to kind of figure out and predict what they think is going to work in the future that's different from what's working now. So STJs are going to be less equipped to do that. Uh, but, you know, as I mentioned, they're also more likely to fall into certain pitfalls. They're, you know, going to be less because they're, they're using a, a very unconscious process to figure out what to do that's not very in tune with, you know, the practical sensory world. They're far more likely to miss details and they're more likely to take chances that, um, you know, that, that may not pay off. So they're going to be more kind of taking chances and swinging for the fences, but they're going to be more likely to figure out what the next big thing is. So, um, you know, to some degree, sensor thinker judges are going to thrive in slower moving environments. So, uh, like Warren Buffett, for example, an ISTJ, he invests in companies like Coca-Cola that do not move quickly. You know, he's, he's a very slow moving, patient, prudent person. And that's the kind of environment where STJs are going to thrive. Uh, whereas, you know, when it comes to Apple, so you've got Steve Jobs and ENTJ and Tim Cook and INTJ, you know, they need to be figuring out where all this is going. Because if Apple is a step behind, you know, Samsung or Microsoft, it's, it's a problem. You know, they need to figure out where things are going all the time and they need to be right as much as possible. So, um, uh, yeah, so that's in a nutshell, I think the difference, the basic difference between STJs and NTJs, STJs are just going to be more practical and fundamental and they're going to operate better in a more predictable environment and NTJs are going to be more innovative and uh, more future oriented and they're going to be more valued in a faster moving environment so uh, i hope that helps uh, if you're trying to figure out what your type is if you're thinking you might be an stj or an ntj or you know wherever you're at with it and you'd like some help you can go to whattype.com slash my type and if you're interested in learning how to become a Myers-Briggs profiler, if you're interested in learning how to tell what Myers-Briggs types people are in different environments, you can go to whattype.com slash lessons. And if you like this sort of thing, these kinds of just you know, random topics and, and discussions about Myers-Briggs, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or uh, comments, please leave a comment below the video and I will see you soon. Thanks.